I'm Ozzy Griffin, and after about half an hour of trying or so, uh, I have finally gotten this video right. Now, this is a post for the Sexual Futurist, and today we're talking about pornography. Now, this is a hot topic. Oh yes, I specifically wrote to the guys who run the channel. I said to them, guys, I want to talk about porn. And they said to me, are you sure? And I said, yeah. And they said, we're going to have to think about it. They got back to me and I said, alright, go with it. And I said, alright. So, two things. One, this video will not contain my opinion on anything. Two, I want your opinion because this is something our society needs to discuss. And if we do continue to have porn in our society, if we must ask how it must be managed in the future. So, here are two channels that will get your, uh, that will give you some information. On the one hand, Jordan Owen 42 is a pro porn advocate. He uh, is pr presently doing a book, finishing up a book deal uh, to do one called a book called Eros Empire about someone who gets into porn. He has done deconstructing Pornland. He has done extensive critiques of Shelley Lubin, uh, Dr. Gail Dines, and a f and looked at generally at the sort of people that. Uh, advocate for the eradication or illegalization of pornography. I'm going to let you look at his stuff, though I would of caution, uh, Deconstructing Porn Land, though incredibly informative, uh, is just him talking to a camera like, like I am, and that can be a little dull at times. So, just a forewarning, though you will get very solid information out of it, and he brings up sources that are, are critical of not only the personal lives of and possible motivations of anti-porn activists, he also asks people to look at uh, whether the sources check out that they quote they're supposedly quoting. Now, on the other side, this is the truth is the name of the channel. It has congressional testimony from experts. It has uh, an interview with a neuroscientist from the show Scratching the Surface. And it has, uh, talking about how pornography rewires the brain, and it has snippets from the anti-porn activists uh, like Dr. Gail Dines and a few other people. And this, now, if you watch both, and I recommend you do, you'll see that there are disparities in the definition of two things. One, what is pornography in general? And two, uh, what would you define as a culture negatively affected by porn? Now, I cite that to the listeners and viewers because, one, I can't stand looking at my own face. Two, uh, it is essential, as the ancient Greeks knew, to get your terms down first. If you're not arguing about the same things, you can't have an argument. You're both basic you both have to have shared, agreed-on terms, and especially the term gonzo porn, which is pornography that breaks the fourth wall. Like right now, I acknowledge that I'm s sitting here talking to a camera, and I'm going to upload it in a couple of minutes, and a couple of hours later once it's finished loading to YouTube, onto a website. This is breaking the fourth wall. This is me talking to you. In gonzo pornography, it is the individual holding the camera and the individuals being filmed, knowing they are being filmed, and interacting with the individual holding the camera. There are anti-porn activists who would advocate that gonzo is a term that actually means uh, violent, uh, body disfiguring porn. And this would, or at least temporarily disfiguring. And this has been argued back and forth. So, I'm just letting everyone know there are disparities on the definitions. There are disparities on the agreed upon data, or at least the interpretation of the exact same data from one individual on one side of the debate to another on the other side of the debate. And I highly, highly, highly cannot recommend enough that individuals go out there and look at the data and the studies and the conclusions of the studies, not just the people who group the studies together and say they have looked at the conclusions, to look at it for themselves. 
I cannot highlight that enough. This debate, if the anti-porn activists are true, could be the turning point towards a better society and one where people have better discourses with others because they don't have something uh, being introduced into their lives. On the other hand, people have a... If the pro-porn people are right, then it's at, wor is at best a colossal waste of time to argue about whether porn should be uh, restricted or legalized entirely or you know, severely punished in any form that's found. And at worst, uh, if the pro-porn people are right, this is a Machiavellian scheme to impose people's agendas on society. Like I said, there's a spectrum here. So, I have not voiced my opinion in this video. I don't want you to know my opinion. As far as I'm concerned, I'm a slab of granite. I'm a piece of marble. I don't have any opinions. You. You have to make your own up, mind up. So I've given you some data. If, you, if anyone can cite some sources, start some really good research going, because there isn't a lot of really good research on porn, mostly because a lot of people find it almost impossible to find a control group of people who've never seen pornography before, or haven't been exposed to a, uh, about the same amount as everyone else has. Anyway, I'm Ozzy Griffin. I have not given you my opinion. I am not speaking for anyone else on Sexual Futurists, including the people on this channel. I'm just arguing that we need to look at stuff before we argue. Have a good one, guys, and happy hunting for the truth.